Tony Ferguson, you need to stop fighting, bro. You ain't 21 anymore. Heck, you ain't even 31 anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what's up with all these fighters. They just want to keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. It's like, this is a young man's game, bro. Young, young, strong, virulent men who have quick instincts. You know, who are ready to pounce on an old fool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, I get it. It's like the only thing he knows how to do. I don't know. Well, I guess, didn't he teach or something? Like, I don't know. These fighters need to, like, find a new passion. Like, I, I get it when you're when you're first starting out and just pushing yourself so hard and, uh, you know, never stopping and just 100% focus on the game. But I think throughout your career, I mean, this is just for all MMA fighters. Like, once you get a name for yourself and you have a little bit of time, you need to, like, find a new passion. Not necessarily that will overtake your MMA passion, but something that, 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 that you can go to, that you could make money from after, after you get beyond a certain point. Like, yeah, there's a lot of MMA fighters that do that. There's a lot that go into broadcasting. You know, they do a lot of different things. But if you don't have anything to fall back on, you're just going to want to keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. It's like, I mean, Tony Ferguson is going on the, you know, one of the longest lose streaks in history. I mean, he was like 12, what was he? He was on a 12 fight win streak. He was going on one of the greatest win streaks. And then now he's on the greatest losing streak. So it's like, you know, I don't know. I just think as a fighter, you should figure out something that you might want to do after after all is said and done when it's like you don't have the same skills like i don't know if they're not aware like are you just not aware that like you you don't have you're not at the same capacity for competing as uh, you know these young guys i don't know i i mean i guess that's the crunning dooner crunning dooner something like that where you think like you're more than you are and it's just like this phenomenon that humans have and it i guess it maybe makes people do things that they're unable to do so maybe he has that where you just can't see it's like and i'm sure there's plenty of people i mean dana white tells him every time he fights like you need to stop and uh you know people they're just a lot of times we just think we can do more than we actually can and uh, it's sad. I mean, I was a huge Tony Ferguson fan. But after he went all through all those medical treatments and shots and who knows what else, you know, he ingested, it's like he came back a changed person. And uh, he's not the same mentally. He's just not the same person mentally. And unfortunately, the, you know, when you go through all those things, treatments, all these kind of things, it like literally physically changes your mind. So you don't have, he doesn't have that same, I mean, he has a hunger, but he just doesn't have the same killer instinct. The killer instinct has been neutralized in him through whatever he went through. So, um, I mean, I could see it. I'm sure other people can see it. He can't see it. It's like, yeah, you're the same person, but all that stuff you went through physically changed your mind, bro. You're going to have to do some detox or do something to get that stuff out of your brain or your body or whatever. You know, that's pretty much the only way <laughs> because uh, it's sad. It's just sad watching the decline. Like I want to see him successful and whether it's an MMA or like some other venture, I just want him to be successful. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think it's time to hang up your gloves, Mr. Kukui? Or do you guys think he should just keep doing it? Let me know. Peace.